bullish. This is the same type of like, I'm getting the same sense that I got in 2019, 2020, when all the news articles were just pro crypto, pro crypto. And I'd send them to my buddy who was in the game a lot longer than me. And he would just like, he doesn't even pay attention to the news articles. He knows they're just a part yeah, of the game. Sheep, dude. He looks at the, at the charts, like the, the charts don't lie to him. The math doesn't lie to him. It's, yeah, and I feel like a sheep just sending articles like, oh, look at this, look what they announced, look what they announced. It's expected. But that's all just to sheep people in, man. It is. You, you know what I mean? You follow the herd, you know where the herd goes, Al? You get slaughtered. Exactly. That's why we sell when they're telling you to get in. When I'm at the gym and I see Bitcoin pumping and should you buy now, they got sell it, dude. I just, I just yeah, literally sold my biggest bag of it yet. Who, who created that, that term, buy the rumor, sell the news? Was that a Warren Buffett thing? I think it was me. It was you, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> Came up with it in a dream. Yeah. So crypto is, uh, it's, it's back on the incline. Um, that, what made you almost sell your XRP? That judge? No, what almost made me sell my XRP was, remember we were waiting for the, um, the response of the lawsuit. From right? May 20th? Yeah. So okay. it was XRP's, it was, they were waiting for the SEC to return a statement saying, um, XRP is, they want Ripple to disclose publicly all their financial statements. And, and Ripple is fighting that, saying, no, we cannot release our, yeah. these publicly. There are it, a lot of non It's going to cause material damage to our company. We're showing people how we, how we operate our company. People can mimic our company. We don't want to show people this. And then Judge Shores was like, no, no, no. She's like, I don't see how you guys will get hurt because this is from stuff from like 20, 2014 to 2020. It's old news. Yeah. So, but what some of it is, is how Ripple was selling XRP at a discount to large investors. Mm -hmm. So the little guys like you and I are going are gonna to be like looking at these financials like, wait a minute, I was buying it for 40 cents and you were selling it for 25 cents to this guy? Is, that's not that crazy to me though, Al. Like if someone wants to buy $1,000 worth of anything, you if you're buying a $10 ghost, say you buy a $5 energy drink and I want to buy a thousand of them, wouldn't you... Would you think it's crazy yeah. if I get a better cut on it? It's usually like that, right? The more you the more you buy, the less. But it just kind of like, I'm like, just be transparent. Why are you trying to hide this? It's making me not trust you. Yeah. You know, like, just be transparent. You guys have nothing to hide. You're already on the podium. I was doing some heavy research in XRP because I really want to be back on the Army, dude. I've gotten a lot of people in it. got a lot of people after yeah. me. But you know what's had, like, 88 million transactions in whatever time period it was? I think, like, a month or a quarter with zero errors like there's never been a reported error on xrp no no like to me i do think it's going to be what they want as a competition with swift like it is it is legit man i mean it's i thought the coinbase listing would have like <coughs> skyrocketed I mean, the dude, price that price doesn't move out it does it's pretty much a stable coin at 50 cents dude i know and it's ending the week at 53 cents but man Check it, it is it's been a rough ride with XRP for sure, bro. We're uh, honestly, man, all these websites, we could just type it in right here. You put dollar sign on X, XRP. That's all, and then it shows you. And then boom, that's your current up to date price right there. You can't really do any charting here, but. I bet you can. What's the thing in the right corner? Uh, you just expand it. Oh, it takes you to trading. Oh, you can. Okay, look at that. Interesting. This is trading view, huh? What is this, a day? Yeah, a day. Yeah, well, how do you zoom out and make it? <laughs> I, know, um, I know, we look like boneheads trying to explain this to people. We don't even know how to use the freaking chart. Um, we'll see, Al, if you draw, draw a line from look here. How, dude. So if I zoom out. Yeah, it's, it's just on the, on the day. So how do you change the day? I don't know. Yeah. I don't want to waste too much time on that. <clears throat> but, uh... A sad day also, and some Polygon Matic news if you want. I've sent the article to the email out. Why is Polygon sad? Um, it's over. It's Well, so like a couple years ago, the whole hype with it was that, hey, Ethereum's getting slow, bad gas fees. Matic, Polygon, which turned into Polygon Matic, um, is pretty much the replacement of it. And it looks like the same thing that they were supposed to fix, which is, you know, trend, congestion on the network is happening to them. So if you scroll down now, they're talking about, okay, the rise and fall, but there's a new crypto on there, um, keep scrolling down, which is fully anonymous that they're saying is taking over. I think it's like Fika, yeah, Retic, R-E-T-I-K. Retic. And it's a complete, they have debit cards, kind of like that scam movie, 
Like you have debit um, cards with no gas fees. It's literally like gonna repl- is a currency, which is the real fight. Like when I tell people about Bitcoin, crypto, they all go, "You can't use it. What are you gonna use it?" And I, I look, it's an investment, dude. Of course, you're not gonna go to a gas station and say, "Hey, can I use my crypto?" You're an idiot. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Trans transfer it to USD and go buy a house or whatever. Look at this Reddick Finance. And I was like, wow, if that's legit. I mean, so it could it's be coming app. from the Polygon network? No, they're saying this is what's crushing Polygon because this network, how many followers? They have 55,000 with zero followers. Kind of a red flag if you follow zero people. Yeah, they don't want to follow anybody. They're leaders. That's true. Stay calm, believe in Reddick on its way to hitting $10 soon. Come on. I don't know. What is it at, though? It's at a buck already? I get, yeah, I guess. Where can you buy it? I have no idea. Like, this is the one that I was listening to some dude on the tube uh, driving in, and I'm like, man. So the concerns for Polygon are increased competition, market saturation, regulatory concerns, and technological challenges. Enter Reddick Finance, a promising alternative for 2024. And, dude, it's it's up like four. Look at that, four X in a year. It's a DeFi coin, probably. Let me see if they got. Um, so has Polygon been uh, stagnant? Uh, it's dude. been stagnant. Sixty some cents. It's yeah. on a. Is it on a downward trend? Because everything's kind of stagnant right now. I would say uh, it probably mimics XRP, where there's like a couple little peaks, but it's definitely not going up in the last five years. Polygon. All right, what's that one called? Out Reddick. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Reddick. It's a dollar eleven, dude. On Coin Market Cap, yeah. So. It looks pretty, the chart looks pretty weird, man. Yeah. Why are they like, I want to see its all-time chart. Is this when it first like ICO'd or whatever? Um, oh, May of 2021 was its all-time high, just like everything else. 247? Mm-hmm. This thing's only showing that being like a year old. Dude. Almost. Look at this. <laughs> That's not a good looking chart. No. But yeah, man, I think... I'm just going to stick to utility coins. Yeah, I mean, you know. remember what they, we always were told the last bull market. It's because this isn't a utility market right now. It's a pump and dump market. XRP is the only like full utility coin. So is this the utility coin bull market finally? I don't think so. I still think we're years away from XLM, it. XDC, I think XRP. next year they start cutting these mean coins. And you got to, once they get this Fit21, you're going to have to pay to play. Okay, you want to be legit crypto and you want to, be on this platform, you got to show us all your credentials, everyone that's got to be KYC so we know who everyone is. Mm-hmm. And if you don't meet these standards, have 100 developers, you're gone. And it's going to be SRP, Bitcoin, XLM. At Ripple and XLM are the only two that are on some board for next year that every crypto has to like report to or some crap. J- Jed McCaleb has to be happy seeing what XRP is going through because XLM is literally like it's co- been stagnant it's too. copy technology <clears throat> like it's the same thing as xrp so he's sitting back looking at this lawsuit and he's like if they have regulatory clarity why would xlm not have regulatory clarity but xlm is peer-to-peer transactions xrp is more so institution yeah, to institution. Big business stuff yeah man. but you can do i mean if you th- like so the other day i cashed out 1500 dollars in bitcoin what do you think it charged me to gas fee uh if i were to guess like 70 70 bucks okay not bad then 30 bucks 30 bucks 30 bucks that's not bad so it's probably not a lot of activity that day if it was at seven i sold at seventy thousand five hundred bucks but yeah you're right people don't sell when it's high it's hilarious yeah they just keep thinking it's gonna pump yeah 